All right, so I want to talk about a couple of things um, in tonight's little clip here on YouTube in regard to um, King of Avalon. First of all, if you're about to go to bed, there's a couple of things that you want to make sure you take care of with your castle. Uh, number one is hide your troops. Um, you'll notice I actually have a little bit of resources in my castle. You want to hide your resources and hide your troops. Those are the most important things. So for me, um, I will choose to store, let's see if this even works, some silver because I'm trying to gather silver for an upgrade on my main castle, which is right there. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm taking care of the resources. In the meantime, what I can do is... Um, let's see, I don't think I have my, my fourth march open because I don't have my VIP on. So right now I've got troops hidden in red. I've got troops hidden in red's bear, but I'm pulling those back because red's bear is not shielded. I don't want my troops to get destroyed while I'm sleeping. Um, so what's going on over here? Reports. Silver. Alliance. Help all. Then what I want to do is go to Alliance, go to Territory, Resources. This is a lazy way to find your stuff. Um, gathering. My concern about gathering tonight, and you want to pay attention to this when you're actually sending your troops, is you'll notice that we're pretty loaded in here. But we only have a little over four, well, just under five million remaining resources. So, for me, I'm not going to send my troops there. Strictly out of the process of, what if it is all gone while I'm sleeping? And second of all, if I send my troops there, more than likely I would use resources from there, clearly, um, that would make it uh, de deplete faster. And I don't want to potentially put my team at risk. So, I'm just being mindful of that. We need to switch it out in the morning. So I'm going to reinforce Clutch, and let's see, then with my last group, let's see, how many do I have left? 20,000? I'm just going to put them over here. Now, in this game, this is one of the only games that I've played that's a war game where people get really hostile, and they start calling people names, they forget that they're talking to humans, they become very rude and uh, I don't even know what you'd say it just no ethics to anything at this point if you hit somebody on a tile heaven forbid you get kills on a tile in this game so if you're just learning this game don't hit anybody on a tile because they will totally destroy you in kingdom chat um, so once you've hidden all of your troops you'll notice I still have a little bit of resources left so I have a couple options I can either do a peace shield, but all I have is two hours, or I could pay the 600 gold for an eight hour peace shield. The question is, are my resources valuable enough? So let's see if I can actually use some of the food, um, because that's really what's causing the concern at this point. Well, let's go ahead and take care of that. So I will see if I can upgrade. I don't have enough of this, so that's probably not a good idea. That's a 19, 19, um, 20s. I could see if I can upgrade. Really don't want to see if I can upgrade the wood. Because holy cow, I've got enough of that to choke somebody. Um, but I do, but that only takes up 43 thousand so let's take a look at this upgrade I don't have enough uh, of the iron so guess what I'll be doing to hide some of these resources now mind you if I were to send these the the food to red then it will just probably get eaten so rather than lose it I'm gonna go ahead and build some troops so train 
Notice it just dropped to 431, train, 202, and let's go with this one, train. And now I've actually gotten my resources down to a manageable amount. Um, so at this point, my troops are hidden, my resources are down. I don't have to worry about the uh, mine collapsing while I'm sleeping. Um, mind you, if you have a ton of resources in your mine, you're not worrying about this. Only one other suggestion I would make is if you go to your map, and you'll notice we're right there. If you go really far away, let's say you have a farm and you're trying to hide troops. Take it so that it crosses straight over the throne and then find a resource. And then if you actually take that, now mind you, I can't do it right now. This walk for one of my farms would be about two and a half hours. So if you take into consideration, it's a very small mine, or not mine, but small tiles. So it's not going to stay a long time, but there's five hours wrapped up in marching. So just keep that in mind when you're playing. It's all about hiding your troops and hiding your resources. Um, it seems like the times that I get hit, I'm actually online. So that's kind of frustrating. So those are just a few tips that I would recommend um, before you go to sleep or before you get offline. Hide all your troops, hide your resources, and then nobody can say that you weren't protecting your stuff. And I can tell you that's a frustration for any leader. So happy gaming.